my weekly picks and predictions video. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports Talk back at it with another video talking. Of course, I'm NFL here to talk about the NFL picks and predictions for week four. So I'm going to be doing it on the whiteboard as I always do for you guys. But before I do that, transparency. How did I do last week? So, folks, I've been telling you it's been a rough start for your boy this season. Hoping to turn it around. I did have a positive week last week, but barely. Okay, I went eight and seven in both straight up just picking the games and also against the spread. So just barely made it out on the other side. Uh, so overall, my record now, that brings it to 25 and 21 straight up just picking games. And then against the spread, 21 and 26 for your boy. This definitely needs to improve here. I got to get better in this department. And even this, I should be getting better. But yeah, folks. Uh, it's been tough, and this week's games are, are, I looked at it, obviously, and it's it's tough as well. So let's see. Let's see if I can get the right reads here, but um, it's a process, and we're learning. We're getting better, so uh, let's hang in there, and let's get into it. So here we go. I've got every single week four game listed on the whiteboard for you guys, so let's go through each and every one of them and pick a winner and a winner against the spread. So first one, Thursday night football. We have a good one. The Dolphins take on the Bengals. Um, in Cincinnati, minus three and a half point favorites are the Bengals, which is kind of surprising when you think about the fact that the Bengals are one and two and the Dolphins are three. No, I don't remember last time a three and no team was like an underdog like this, but it's happening here. And ultimately, folks, this is going to be a probably a high power game in terms of the offenses with Tyreek Tua, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, like Joe Burrow. It's going to be insane to me. Look, this Bengals team, I know they've had a rough start, but they made the Super Bowl last year. This is a good team. Let's not forget that. So I do like them to win this game uh, because they're at home, and I think they're catching their stride now. And I think, uh, you know, with Tua being a little banged up and, uh, you know, even Jalen Waddles dealing with some injuries, like the Dolphins just aren't as healthy. I'm going to take the Bengals to win this game, but I will take the Dolphins to cover here the three and a half. Don't like that point five there. Uh, so I will take advantage of it and take the Dolphins here. They certainly win this game. And Mike McDaniel is my favorite new young head coach. And I don't like betting against this man. He's a he's a young genius in my mind. So, yeah, give me the Dolphins to cover that. But I think the Bengals win the game. All right. Minnesota Vikings at the New Orleans Saints. Uh, this is the London game. So make sure you're up early to watch this one but overseas in terms of it's taking place, like I said, in London. And to me, I like the Vikings in this one clearly, and I'll take them to win this game uh, and cover that three-point spread. Here's why, all right? I get the Vikings are a little banged up with Dalvin Cook, who's dealing with the dislocated shoulder, but it's not close to the severity of what the Saints are dealing with, right? With Jameis Winston dealing with a back injury, and Michael Thomas and Jarvis Landry left that game, and Alvin Kamara doesn't seem right. Like, this entire Saints team just looks banged up. Um, who knows if Jameis even plays? We think he will, but... Overall, Minnesota, the healthier team, the better offense. And I just feel like, to, to me, it's not even a home game for either team. So give me the better team on a neutral field. And I think that's Minnesota right now. So I'll take them to win this game. Justin Jefferson and company should still be able to do work, even if Dalvin Cook is not available. All right, Chargers at Texans. Uh, I'll take the Chargers here. Look, I'll be honest, Chargers are my team that I expected to be really, really good, and it's very early in the season, but it's not looking good right now. They did just lose Rashawn Slater to an injury for the rest of the year. Joey Bosa's out on IR, and this Chargers team doesn't look healthy, man. Um, you know, Mike uh, Mike Williams is good, but is Keenan Allen going to play? Like, it's bad. Justin Herbert dealing with his uh, chest injury, so uh, it's tough, but still can't pick them to lose this game. I'll still take the Chargers here, as you can tell. The question is the five and a half point spread. And we're talking about a Houston Texans team that's been in there. It's it's fought a little bit. Lovey Smith's got his team ready to, to fight every single game. But uh, I think this is a bounce back spot for the Chargers here. I, I will take them to win this game. And uh, I don't feel good about it, but I'll take the five and a half. It will, if it was like a seven point spread, I'll probably take the Texans. But five and a half, I'll still take the Chargers. I just don't think the Texans have enough firepower on offense. And Chargers defense should still be decent with Khalil Mack, J.C. Jackson, and those guys. So I'll take that. All right. Bears, Giants in this one. Um, two, a matchup of two very bad offenses. 
Um, and uh, this one's an upset for me. Give me the Bears on the road here. And look, I am a Bears fan, but the reason I'm picking them, them is not because I'm a fan. It's because of the fact that I feel like this Bears team, uh, they're a little bit better defensively. Uh, running the football, even if Monty is not available, they should still be able to do that with Khalil Herbert, who looks excellent. And this Giants deep run defense isn't very good. And the Giants just lost Sterling Shepard. So their offense is literally Saquon Barkley or bust. So if the Bears are able to contain Saquon Barkley, they should win this game because they don't have anything the Giants do outside of Saquon. Daniel Jones, um, he gets rattled under pressure. We saw that against the Cowboys and the Bears have a good pass rush. So to me, defensively and the fact that the Giants just aren't healthy and don't have as much talent, give me the Bears in the upset here. Seattle Seahawks at Detroit Lions. Give me the Lions here. I think the Lions at home against a bad Seattle team win this one. The question is the four and a half point spread. I, and I will take them to, to cover that. I don't feel great about it because it feels weird to take the Lions as a team to cover a four and a half point spread. We haven't been used to that. But I want to give the Lions some respect. They're a decent team. Hopefully, Amon Ross St. Brown plays. He's been on the injury report. But yeah, give me the Lions here um, to win this game. Jacksonville Jaguars at Philadelphia Eagles. Give me the Eagles to win this one. The Eagles have been look, um, looking amazing. But give me the Jaguars here, folks. That's a big spread, six and a half points. Jaguars under Doug Peterson have just looked incredible. Rejuvenated this team with Trevor Lawrence, who looks like he's taking the next step. Like, this team looks legitimately good. Like, they could win that division. And I know the Eagles are very good. I'm still picking them to win the game. But give me the, the Jaguars to cover. And it wouldn't surprise me if they pulled off the upset. Jets at Steelers. Um, to me, this one's tough. I don't like either team. I think they're both pretty poor. Uh, but I'll take the Steelers at home here just because of the fact that they're at home. Zach Wilson should be coming back. So to me, give me the Jets to cover that three and a half point spread. I could see the Jets winning this game easily. So I'm trying to hedge here a little bit. So I think it'll be a close one. But uh, two not great teams, two not great offenses. But give me the Steelers to win and Jets to cover. All right, Browns and Falcons. When I first looked at this line, it didn't make sense to me. Browns are only favored by one and a half. I get it they're on the road, but like this, this Browns team, even though they don't have Deshaun Watson yet, they are legitimately good, folks. This run game with Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, incredible. Amari Cooper looks like he's an absolute stud for them as their number one receiver. David Njoku has taken strides. Jacoby Brissett has been decent. So this should be at least a three, maybe even a four-point spread. So give me the Browns here to win this game and cover. Look, I know that the, the Falcons uh, beat the, the Seahawks last week, but that was the Seahawks. Like, the Falcons aren't a good team. Mariota's doing okay. They're decent, but they're just not a good team. Give me the Browns here on the road with a better defense, better run game, and just a better overall team. Titans, Colts. This is a tough one, division game. Give me the Colts here to win this game, but I'll take the Titans to cover the three and a half. Again, a lot of these three and a halves where I'm taking the other side because I don't like that half point. Now, with this game, the Colts, again, they got their ship right winning against the Chiefs, so hopefully that should propel them back to being a team that actually is good, unlike them getting shut out in week two to the Jaguars. Uh, but uh, they're at home. Uh, Tennessee's not a great defense. They should be able to run the football with Jonathan Taylor. All of those things taken into account, I'll take the Colts here to win. But like I said, the Titans, it's a division game. They always tend to be close. I'm not still trusting the Colts fully. I need to see more. That's why I'm going to take them to cover. All right, here we go. Dallas Cowboys at home against the Washington Commanders here. To me, um, look, Cooper Rush has been very solid. Honestly, you surprised me. He just doesn't make mistakes. He just puts the ball where he needs to go, and he doesn't make mistakes. So to me, I'll take the Cowboys at home. The Commanders don't look very good. Um, but... The fact is, it's a three-point spread. So my my question really is, do I want to take the Commanders to cover that? And I could see the Commanders winning this game, folks. Carson Wentz played pretty decent. I'm not saying that I want to pick them to win, but I think they could. So I'll take them to cover. If this was Dak Prescott, I'll take Dallas to cover that three. But the line wouldn't be three if it was Dak. Bills, Ravens. This one should be a fun one here. Lamar Jackson, who's been incredible through the first three games, and Josh Allen who's been an absolute stud. Ravens at home here. Went back and forth on this one, man. But I think the Bills bounce back here. And I think they win this game. It wouldn't shock me if the Ravens did. It's only a three-point spread. But give me the Bills here uh, to win this game. And this is going to be a very, very tough one. The Bills, uh, hopefully their defense comes back because they had a lot of guys out. And uh, Lamar Jackson, man, he's, he's hard to stop at this point. He's been incredible. 
Uh, so to me, do I want to take the Bills to, to cover that three-point spread, or can I see the Ravens winning? And I can see the Ravens win, so I'll take the Ravens to cover that, all right? Cardinals at Panthers. I got an upset here for you. Give me the Cardinals. The Panthers just aren't a good football team. It's a one-and-a-half-point spread, but I'm sorry. Baker Mayfield's been an unmitigated disaster. Christian McCaffrey looks okay, but definitely not like prime CMC. DJ Moore has looked bad, but that's basically been because of Baker Mayfield. Like this entire Panthers team just does not scream anything resembling any sort of a, a good team to me. Cardinals, at least they pulled off that comeback against the Raiders. Like Kyler Murray is a is an excellent playmaker. We know that. So give me uh, the bet on the Cardinals with, to me, I just think a better quarterback and a, a better overall team at this point that's, uh, you know, not underachieving like the Panthers are. The Panthers are severely underachieving with the talent they have on the roster. All right, Broncos, Raiders. I got another upset here. Give me the Broncos. The Raiders are favored by two and a half. Um, now, here's why I like the Broncos to win this game. Um, I get it. The Raiders are winless, and they should, you know, be very hungry to win this game. It's a division game, but the Raiders haven't been impressive, clearly, because of their 0-3 record. The Broncos, even though their offense has been so bad, they're still 2-1, and one, which tells you what? Their defense is good. And their defense is going to be able to neutralize the Raiders. So all that has to happen, and I know it's easier said than none, is the offense for the Broncos has to just be decent. And I think Russell Wilson, as he gets more comfortable in this offense, is going to be able to start getting better and showing up and doing better with this team. So hopefully that starts to happen here. So I don't see the Raiders getting the first win here. I think the Broncos win this one on the road. Packers at home against the Patriots. This is the biggest spread of the entire week. Nine and a half. It actually was 10. Last time I checked, it moved. But give me the Packers to take, win that game, and cover that. Brian Hoare is going to start this game. Matt Jones is out. New England's not going to be able to score. I mean, my goodness, they can run the football all they want, but they won't be able to score. Like, at a certain point, they'll have to throw because the Packers will probably be up by two, three scores. So, yeah, this one won't be close. I'm sorry. Not much analysis needed here. Uh, the Patriots offense is just awful. Chiefs, Bucks, one and a half, one point spread here. Uh, this game, I think, is being played in Tampa, even though with the whole situation with the weather and the hurricane. Uh, give me the Chiefs here uh, to to win this game. It's a close game, close spread. Uh, I think they bounce back. Tampa, we know Mike Evans will be back, but is Chris Godwin going to be back? Is Julio going to be there? Like Tom did not look right without his playmakers, and I just think the Chiefs will bounce back after that disgusting loss they took to the Colts. I think they'll be more motivated. So give me the Chiefs here to win this game. And finally, Rams, 49ers. This spread makes no sense to me. It's 49ers actually favored by one and a half in this one. Give me the Rams all day long here. I think the Rams are the better team. I think they have the better quarterback. I think they have a better coach, better overall roster. There's no reason they shouldn't be favored, even though they're on the road. The Rams are just a hands-on better team. Give me them to win this game and beat the 49ers. So there you have it, folks. My picks for week four. Let me know what you guys see. Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching.